Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial. My name is David Thorne. Um, today we're going to be starting off talking about the XML HTTP request or uh, otherwise known uh, as AJAX, Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Now just quickly, uh, as much as it's called Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, um, in these tutorials I'm not going to be using XML at all. We're going to be using uh, just standard um, callbacks with um, text so we're not going to be re um, receiving data from the server in XML although it is called Ajax um, just think of it as an, an asynchronous callback with JavaScript okay so first of all what is um, Java what is Ajax or <laughs> what JavaScript is if you don't know what JavaScript is please go away and have another look at another tutorial um, what is Ajax? Okay, Ajax is a way of sending a request back from a website without a page refresh. Now, if you don't know what a page refresh is, and then I would suggest go and check up about that, but it's basically just reloading the page. So every, t every single time a new request comes to the page with a complete page re. Um, reload. Okay. Now with JavaScript, we can do this as like a graphical user interface. Um, we're just clicking a button, and the page won't get refreshed, but it will send um, a request off in the background um, to the server. Then the server will send back a response um, with any text or any data that you want to send back. And then using JavaScript, you can um, manipulate the page in any way you want to, um, just using JavaScript. Now. There are jQuery library. There is a jQuery library out there which enables you to use the um, the AJAX um, functions um, with inside of it. Now they're fantastic. They're excellent, <coughs> and I would use them uh, every time, and I do use them every time. Although I think it's very very important to be able to understand how the XML HTTP request actually works, because then you have a better understanding how the AJAX um, fr um, jQuery library um, works as well. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so um, this is what we're going to talk about: is actually how the core XML HTTP request works, and obviously showing you how to use it. This is this is for people who really. Um, want to know a de have a deeper knowledge about how it works okay if you want the quick fast method then go away check out my videos about um, the Ajax um, jQuery post request okay that'll be enough for you okay you'll be able to then send back some data using Ajax but to really really get a good solid knowledge of how it works um, then this is the tutorial for you okay so what I'm going to do is um, because I've just basically roughly explained what it is and I give you an introduction to um, what we're going to do in um, these tutorials. I don't know how many tutorials it's going to be over um, but for the people that want to have in-depth knowledge of how the XML HTTP request um, works then watch on. Okay, If you're interested in how um, the how it's just quick and simple um, then w go and watch my um, jQuery tutorials about the dollar sign dot post um, request. Otherwise, check out jQuery.com and search for the Ajax um, function. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one short here, and in the next tutorial, we're going to start with actually writing some XML HTTP requests with JavaScript. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.